Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to disable your RGB light in without resorting to screwdrivers or a pair of scissors. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to disable the onboard RGB on your computer's motherboard. Now, a lot of people have uh, commented on videos, so I'm surprised I haven't actually done this already, but it's actually really simple to do. So essentially, if you've got a motherboard which has built-in RGB, and maybe you've got RGB strips or fans connected, similar to what we've got going on behind us, you'll find that when you turn your computer off at night, or, or go into shutdown, or sleep, or standby, the RGB on the motherboard will still be illuminated. Now this isn't a problem for some because if you've got the PC in an office or something, they go home, they don't bother them. But if it's in your bedroom or kind of sleeping area or whatever, you don't want that RGB light blasting out and keeping you awake. So I'm going to show you how to disable it both in software and also in the motherboard's BIOS. So let's go over to the computer and check it out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do in the software is to click on your particular software. Now this is Asus Aurora, this is on X370 motherboard. So we're going to Asus Aurora, click OK. And the setting we want is normally you're concerned with this bit here, sync all. So that's your daytime running colors. Uh, you've got settings, which you can ignore, but this is the one we want, sync at shutdown. It's not obvious what it means, but that is what goes on. So what that means is sync at shutdown, so you can set a separate set of commands or illuminations to run whilst the computer is either it hibernating or whatever it is. So mine's currently kept set to color cycle, so that means the motherboard would be still be running when the computer is physically turned off or uh, shut down if the mains power cord is still attached. So all we need to do is choose the off at the bottom. And as you can see, this is uh, off. So it says here, when selected, the motherboard LEDs will not light up in sleep, hibernate, or soft off states. So all we do is click apply. And that's it, we're done. So if you want to turn them back on at any stage, all you do is just choose another one of your profiles, click apply, and it'll come back on. So that's how to do it in the software. So now we're going to do it in the BIOS as well. So if you restart your computer, when it's rebooting, just mash the uh, delete key or F2 or whichever key is the one specifically for your motherboard's BIOS. And just keep on tapping the key until your BIOS screen comes up. And there we go, so there is our BIOS screen. Now, all the BIOSes are slightly different, so this is going to be uh, only really for the ASUS boards, um, and particularly the X370 Prime Pro. Yours may be similar, again, do check your motherboard manufacturer uh, to get the full details. But generally what you'll need to do is to go into Advanced mode on your motherboard BIOS, and then go into Advanced. And in this one, it's onboard devices configuration. So this is where you find things such as your hard drive, uh, sorry, your HD audio controllers, your USB controllers, all those kinds of things. So this has got a subsection called RGB LED lighting, and it's set to enabled. So this is the default setting for when Windows is up and running, all that kind of thing. But they've also got a secondary section here for in sleep, hibernate, or soft off states. So again, this is set to on currently. All we need to do is click on that and choose off and then that will turn the RGB lights off when the computer is in any of those three states. Uh, I'm gonna leave mine on because I like it on, but again, if you want it to be off, set it to off, then all you do is go up to the top where it says exit, save changes and reset, and save the settings to your CMOS, and then you can go back into Windows. Okay, so there you have it. There is how to disable your onboard RGB settings in your motherboard. Again, this is specifically for the ASUS X370 Prime Pro. It does work the same pretty much in the X570 versions, and I've also tried it on an ASRock board and the settings are very, very similar. Again, if you look into the software, that is generally the easiest place to do it, uh, but if you don't feel comfortable using the software, then obviously you can use the BIOS instead. But if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.